Hi everyone, this is Kosh from Blue Sky Graphics. Today we're going to go ahead and have a quick look at the Puppet tool and the options that are available to us in After Effects. Let's go ahead and jump in. Here we have our scene with our character and a background. We have made this in Illustrator. You can go ahead and look at our previous tutorials of how to go ahead and bring in an illustration file into After Effects. We're going to go ahead and jump into our character standing composition. Here we have our layers that we have brought in from Illustrator. At the very top, we have the Puppet tool. If you go ahead and do a long hold on the Puppet tool, you will go see the different options that we have here. First, we're going to go ahead and start with the Puppet Position pin. The Position pin will allow you to go ahead and make a pin so that you can keyframe a movement later. We're going to go ahead and click somewhere here along the shoulder, and then another one on the elbow, and another one near the wrist. So if I go ahead and grab one of these pins, I can move them around. This is how we're using the Puppet tool. We can go move each one to different positions. Now, if you move your pins too close to each other, you can see that they will go ahead and destroy the structure of our character's anatomy. So that's something that we want to try to avoid. The next pin that we have is the starch pin. This pin will actually allow us to go ahead and not break the structure of our anatomy. So it creates dense pins. If I do that between the other pins I've made, if I move them, you see those areas will be quite dense and complex, not allowing it to break like it did before. I then have the puppet bend. I'm going to click on this existing position pin and then press backspace to delete it and replace it with a puppet bend pin. This bend pin has two options. First option is you can squish and stretch that pin itself, and then you can rotate the pin as you like. This pin is not a position pin. It would actually move with the other pins. If I move this position pin, it will move along with the other two pins. The next pin we have is the advanced pin. I'm going to do the same thing again. Click onto the bend pin, press backspace to delete it, and then replace it with a advanced pin. So the advanced pin is the same as the one before, where you can squish it and again expand it. You can rotate and as well as that, move it. So it would be a combination of the position and bend. Pin. And then lastly, we have got the overlap pin. First, if you notice, if I move this pin, it will go over the shoulder. But when I go and choose the overlap pin and create areas that can't be overlapped and then go back to the position pin, the hand will no longer go over the shoulder but under the shoulder. This is a quick preview of the puppet tool that After Effects has to offer. I hope you've enjoyed today's class. If you want to learn more about motion graphics or any of the other courses we provide, please visit bluesky graphics.co.uk. You've been learning with Kosh at BSQ.